the best part of my job is all the people I get to impact from our families with the children, the adults, grandparents, our team and our staff. Play with meaning is really broad, but in essence, I think it is making sure that everyone who's engaging with us understands that play is more than just a fun thing to do. It can be iterative, it should be socially interactive, it should be actively engaging, and it should be joyful. There's been a saying for a long time that play is a child's work, and I really believe that. Everything kind of just gets wrapped into play and it makes it super meaningful. Yeah, we're working very hard to dispel the idea that we're just a playground. We're wanting to be really intentional about connecting adults to children and elevating the learning and having the child lead it, but the adult can help guide or elevate it or extend it. This is our build it exhibit. This is the first completely in-house designed and executed exhibit. And we built this with intentionality because we wanted another form of play. So Build It fosters creativity and gives kids a lot of ways to explore construction in different ways. And just seeing over here a few minutes ago, there were kids that were all building with rubber bands in our geoboard section and talking with each other about how to do what and then, oh, how did you do that? So seeing that kind of exploration is so uh, enriching and helpful for kids as they're developing. And it also helps us level up because today we're here in the summertime and we've got kids of all ages. Caregivers may or may not understand what the intent behind an exhibit is. So we've built things like exhibit guides like this. And these are ways to passively, a parent can pick it up, a caregiver can look at it and go, oh, this is what the carousel was intended to do. Or I can make this carousel ride more intentional by talking about the animals, talking about and counting the lights. How many times did we go around? In order for a family to engage, we need to take away the barriers. So some of the things we've tried to do are make sure that we're having bilingual signage. Another way we're doing that is we work really closely with VCU Occupational Therapy, and we've worked with the Autism Society of Central Virginia and Sportable and Six Wheels Consulting to look at, at our accessibility, and our focus is universal design for learning. Families have a, a short duration, a couple of hours playing with us, and then they go home or they come for a half hour field trip and they learn something fun, but that's not gonna change the trajectory of their life. But if we can give a nugget to the caregivers and some ideas of how to extend it in the museum, in school, at home, then we've really changed the trajectory in learning. So if we've changed the mindset a little bit of the adults that are with the child, we've impacted that child in a dramatic way.